Hello and welcome to the next class of marketing. In today's class, we are going to discuss about some of the basic concepts of marketing, which are marketing segmentation, market target market selection, then the difference between needs, wants, and demand. The then the product or offering, how could we define it? Then the value and satisfaction and exchange and transaction. So coming to the first one, which is market segmentation first we need to see what is market market is a set of actual or potential buyers potential means the buyers or the people who can become our customers of a product these people share a need or want that can be satisfied through exchange right uh, so whatever set that market consists of whatever people that market consists of they have a particular kind of a need and that need can be satisfied through exchange of the product the product which we can provide to them then uh, the targeting and segmentation of the market right market has to be divided into segments because all the customers do not have exactly same kind of needs and wants so if they have different sets of needs and wants they need to be segmented and they have to be offered different kinds of product for that purpose the first step is market segmentation it means we divide the market we segment the market like for example in this uh, diagram we are able to see that suppose this market is divided into two sets or two segments so th these are the two segments of the market segment one and segment two now the second step is targeting now we have two segments in front of us what we can do either we can serve both the segments so we have to make two different products for both these segments and if in case we want to serve only one segment in that situation we have to choose one of the segment suppose we have chosen segment one so it means this is our target market for which we are going to make the product for the um, this particular type of need we are going to offer them a solution so this is targeting which is the second step of marketing then we come to need want and demand it looks like uh, the three terms are similar or are interrelated yes they are interrelated but these are different so we should understand it by an example need is what need is the state of a uh, felt deprivation that deprivation could be related to our physical environment or to our social environment or it could be related to our individual needs say for example i am feeling hungry so hunger is my need that is related to my physical or individual need so that could be shared between four or five people suppose at a particular point of time five people are hungry so all of us are sharing same need but see need could be same but want could be different suppose i want uh, i want to eat a eat a burger to satisfy my need of hunger but somebody else wants to have noodles the third person might want uh, might want to have uh, south indian food or the fourth person want to have some north indian dish right so everybody has a different want so want is what it is the form that a human need takes as shaped by culture or individual personality and that want will de become demand when we have buying capacity for that so in that situation it means if we have money to buy the product if we have money to buy that particular item we are converting our want into demand then the next is marketer and prospect marketer means the seller who is seeking to sell something to another party and prospect is the customer who is seeking to buy something from another party now we come to value and satisfaction how could we define value of a product value is uh, calculated or defined as benefit depend uh, divided by the cost the benefit which we get from the product that benefit can be functional it could be emotional every product has these two parts functional and emotional benefit the only difference is some of the products have more functional benefit less of the emotional benefit or it could be vice versa means less functional benefit and more emotional benefit say for example if we are giving a gift of a bouquet or a greeting card to somebody in that case the functional benefit is very less but emotional benefit is very high and uh, take another example suppose i'm buying a pen so in that case functional benefit is very high emotional benefit is very less but it is a combination of both now come to the cost part cost for a particular product is not only the monetary cost it include time cost which i have spent while purchasing that product while getting information for that for uh, evaluating the product all that 
then energy cost how much energy i have consumed while buying that particular product maybe it is possible that um, i have been searching for a particular product for past 10 days i have been searching that product in the market uh, in showrooms uh, from the internet and so much of energy i have consumed over it so that will be added to my cost and the psychic energy the mental fatigue which i have uh, faced while uh, searching for while evaluating for while purchasing the product so all that will be included in the cost and by having a benefit upon cost analysis we will find out the value of the product now how could we calculate the satisfaction satisfaction can be calculated through our expectation and the actual performance comparison right whenever we buy a product we have certain expectations in our mind that this product will perform so and so and if the expectations are met we are satisfied if the expectations are not met we are dissatisfied this is the simple formula right say for example in this case the expectation is 10 and the product performed only 8 so obviously the person will be dissatisfied now in another case the expectation was 10 but the performance was 10 12 or it could be either 10 also in that situation also the customer is happy satisfied customer then the next one is exchange and transaction as we have discussed in the previous video also when we were discussing about the definition of marketing the exchange of uh, product and services occurs between two parties right so exchange uh, has certain conditions we have five conditions for that exchange to be there that is first is at least two party buyer and seller right then each should have something of value to other party that also we covered in the definition part that for the buyer the product is valuable that's why he is doing that exchange and for the seller that cash or that money is important that's why he is doing that uh, transaction right then each party is capable of communication and de delivery both of them are able to communicate with each other and to deliver whatever is of value to each other then each party is free to accept or reject the exchange offer it means there is no pressure no coercion nothing uh, pressurized them to do that particular exchange they are freely accepting that exchange to happen and lastly each party believe it is desirable to deal both believe that it is fair enough deal and we have to be in that deal right now if we see transaction part transaction can be of two types one is monetary other one is barter barter transaction was there in the uh, history of we can say business where the goods were exchanged for other goods or services like for example in the picture the grain have been exchanged in uh, for fish right but the monetary transaction where the goods and products or services uh, are exchanged for money right so these are two types of transactions that is monetary transaction and barter transaction so the next ones we will discuss in the third class of core concepts